Hey what's up guys Indian Sense here back with another episode of Ninja Voltage so the much awaited Itachi version 2 rekit is here with us and we will talk about that in a minute first let's go to some notices and yesterday we had this notice that Itachi Uchiha birthday celebration so if you are a new player and have some shinobites to spare then I would suggest to do someone on this banner because you will get ultimate jutsu guaranteed as step 3 and all of the three ultimate jutsu in this banner are really great especially the yasaka beats so if you get yasaka beats then you are good to go because he is one of the best character in this game and the best ultimate jutsu yasaka beats one of the best and also uh, for the new players they are giving out 200 hero fragments so you can max him out to 6 stars which is really good so and also there is a new card if you buy 720 shinobites then you get this defense card I will love you always okay HP and defense nice and also we have the replay mission for guy so as I don't have him to 6 stars yet so I will be playing this and try to get him to 6 stars and if you don't already have him to 6 stars this is a good chance he is a really good character also we have the banner for his V kit Hirudora and the other 2 4 stars but it is not a guaranteed summoning so I would not suggest to summon on this banner and another Xenobite purchase campaign okay and okay this uh, ninja tool searching mission has added another character so if you have either of KL Naruto KLM or Sasuke AMS or Itachi version 2 the drop rate increases and you can have a high chance of getting a ninja tool and also there has been a campaign going on on Facebook by Ninja, uh, ninja Voltage Bandai so you can get around 150 shinobites all of us can get 150 shinobites if we all together play this ninja tool searching mission for around i think 1.5 million times so make sure to play as much as possible so that you can and everybody can get 150 shinobites and we have the assault mission for itachi version 2 uh, you can get some shinobites and also get some hero fragments so do play this and i one pro tip is that uh, make sure to play the team special mission for the assault mission on the day one itself because as day passes after one or two days players are not that much into the team special mission so you will not be getting any uh, anyone to play with you because team special mission require at least two uh, two players so make sure to play the team special mission first then play the solo mission and we have the rekit here with us so it's step up summon one two three step or uh, 500 shinobites each and the step four is free summon just like before so the ultimate is many plate okay looks nice release a giant amaterasu causing a large amount of damage to enemies decreases defense and negate stat increases what does this mean okay so we will have a look at it uh, destroy enemies with scorching hellfire release type breezes out giant flames causing damage to enemies also inflicting damage over time slowed movement and seal that's pretty great nice jutsu and third one is uh, crow clone jutsu attacks with clone crows causing damage to enemies okay we will have to look at with this one looks pretty great also we have the special uh, daily free summon part 3 and also we have login bonus i think where is the login bonus uh, login bonus login bonus Man. Ah, here it is. So we have the login bonus, and we I got uh, 60 shinobites today, and I will be getting around 120 shinobites in the period of nine days. Also, some summoning tickets, some ability points. 
so that's great let's look into the kit 60 second cooldown cp cost is 300 which is a bit high as he is a yellow character and decreases defense of uh, 85 percent okay and the time is 15 seconds that's great looks nice let's have a trial negate stat increases i wonder what that means i think okay we have gara here and with his the second ultimate he increases defense so i think this ultimate will be uh, removing the defense uh, and the uh, stats on gara and like uh, hashirama and other characters who have some stats so yeah as you can see his defense has been decreased and the stats has been removed but he didn't die okay let's check the range on this ultimate jutsu i think it's not that long range i will have to check once more yeah it's a short range it does not go as far as his old four star let me try it one more time ah. it would have been great if this travels a bit forward now it remains there okay not that great but okay let's check out the other two four stars and guys uh, one more tip make sure if you are trying to summon on itachi make sure not to summon by mistake on this banner because they kind of look similar so just have a look out okay so this one is the damage damage to enemies or uh, damage over time slow movement and seal five second cooldown 100 CP cost uh, 21 second damage over time and this one is load movement for 9 seconds and this one is seal 8 seconds okay looks great let's have a try and it's a slow range, a uh, low range jutsu, and the one one shinobi did not get slowed movement. I don't know why. Okay, the effects are really great on the uh, this four stars, but it would have been great if the fire range was a little bit higher. Let me check once again if the range is more than and. No, it's really low, man. Okay. I guess it's okay. Not that great. Okay, this one is Crow Clone Jutsu. CP cost is 80. 3 second cooldown. Okay. What does this do? What does this do? Okay, it's a teleport. And I think this will also be doing damage. Multi hit here, two, two or three, four times. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great jutsu. Nice jutsu. This one I like the most between the all the four stars uh, I have Shino Bites but I'm not sure if I should summon on Itachi version to Rikit or we still have Naruto KLM mm, I think uh, 
I will go with Naruto KLM because overall Naruto KLM is going to be good in Sam obviously and he's going to is go is good actually in PvP and in as a sub character and as a defense character so but this one uh, Itachi version 2 is a good defense character but I'm not sure if he is really worth uh, and I also don't have any manipulate kunais with me and since the ultimate is manipulate so I will not be able to do that much damage in Sam I have some release kunais uh, let me show you I actually did really great in this uh, TAM I got around 12 ninja tools yeah after this you can see I got uh, many ninja tools so I have released kunais with me so I will be doing good with uh, Naruto KLM uh, uh, I will make up my mind and I will make a summoning video different video and we will see that which character am I going to summon and we have a free summon let's do this one uh, I am thinking to summon on Naruto KLM I don't know let me know if you guys uh, have any opinions on which character should I summon on okay stack card so that was it guys uh, make sure to like the video and comment down below let me know what you think of Itachi version 2 or Naruto KLM and if you are new do subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to get instant notifications